Welcome to the Hacienda. Ruben here. Uh, today we're going to make something fantastic out of this cookbook. Mrs. Rivet gave me that for Christmas and it's just jam-packed full of beautiful photographs and uh, recipes. It is a cookbook. Uh, as you know, Stanley Tucci is a cook, a chef, a movie star, a TV shows personality. He's just an all-around kind of guy and he knows his food. Um, the recipe we're making today is orchietti um, with broccoli rabe and anchovies. Now, broccoli rabe is not related to broccoli. It kind of looks like it, but it's not. Uh, it's called rapini in Italian, and uh, it's related to the turnip, and it's a leafy um, vegetable uh, that kind of looks like broccoli. It's very bitter and peppery tasting. Uh, broccoli rob is impossible to find in southern Missouri in December, so I've made the command decision we're going to use curly kale. We got the anchovies, orchietti, uh, Calabrian uh, pepper sauce, garlic, all that, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do in a uh, large skillet with a generous amount of olive oil, uh, all the ingredients will be in the list in the notes below. We've got a can of uh, drained and rinsed anchovies. Um, what we want to do is cook them up in the oil uh, until they start to fall apart. Okay, about 60 seconds in, I've turned the heat down to medium. You can see they're frying up nicely. Now we're going to add the Calabrian uh, chili sauce. And we're going to be generous with that. I'm going to say we're going to add two generous tablespoons. Now, this is optional. You can add as much or as little as you like. Uh, Stanley says in his book that the recipe they got from their friend, she likes it spicy. Uh, I'm along with that. He said it's a little too spicy for him. But uh, we're doing my version and we're going spicy. 60 seconds later, we're going to add the four minced garlic uh, cloves. Uh, we're just going to cook this real quick for maybe 30, 60 seconds and uh, take it off the heat. Alright, so now that we got our pasta water boiling, the first thing we're going to do is add the kale. Now, I have chopped the stems off the kale and uh, all we got is the nice leafy portion and we're going to cook that and the trick to this recipe is you want to cook the, uh, the greens first because they're going to flavor the water and then you cook the orchietti uh, afterwards. So join me then. Uh, after they cook for a few minutes, uh, I'm going to drain them and set them off to cool. The uh, kale was cooked and I uh, pulled it out. So now we're going to add the orchietti. Uh, and that says it takes 12 minutes to cook. So we are going to cook it, oh, probably 10. And then we're going to pull it out and uh, we're going to add it to this which I'm going to show you here in a moment what we're going to do. Alright, so this mixture is cooled down. We had it off the fire uh, while the greens were cooking. Now um, we're going to add a scant teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Uh, now remember I rinsed and drained the uh, anchovies so they're not salty and this Calabrian chili uh, sauce is not salty so it's going to benefit um, from the addition of the salt and to that we're going to add the cooling kale and uh, mix that in well and uh, remember right now there it's not overheat it's just on a cold stove all right so we turn the heat back on to medium high uh, we're going to get this heated through. Our pasta is just perfectly done, two minutes shy, and um, we're going to add it to this. And if you get pasta water in there, that's fine. No worries. As you can see, uh, using tongs is probably the best tool for this. And um, this is ready. Let's go ahead and uh, plate it up and see what it tastes like. All right, so here we go, plate it up. Um, it smells fabulous. Uh, it really does. The garlic, the Calabrian chilies, of course the anchovies, um, and it's not done. Let's go ahead and we got some grated uh, Parmesan cheese. That's optional. Let's uh, put a little bit of that on there. 
and let's give it a taste. All right, here we go. Just snap a few pictures. Uh, oh, yum. This smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Everything diffused and comes together so beautifully. Nothing takes center stage here. Um, of course, like the broccoli rabe or rapini, um, the kale, the pepperiness and the bitterness tones down when you boil it. Uh, the cooking of the anchovies with the peppers um, really toned down that flavor, and uh, the, pe the that pepper sauce is just gorgeous. Uh, you could use red pepper flakes if you want, but I found that, so we went with that. Um, of course, the parmesan is perfect. Mm. Interesting pasta shape, orchietti. Um, in Italian, it means ears of the priest. Um, why? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, but they got a nice shape. Um, they'll hold sauce if you put them in a saucy recipe. But um, this is a very pretty dish. I like it. You got the red, the green, the creaminess, and the white of the cheese. Simple to make, not counting prep time. I threw this together in what 20 minutes. Um, yeah, definitely make again. Thanks for watching, people. Take care.